So when we are telling it to add this, we can send more information to this section by just adding another parameter here. So I can just do this. <clears throat> And then I can add an object here. So to add an object, you just put two curly brackets like this. And then let me go back here. Let's look at the placeholder. Uh, let me put an object there as well. It was an empty object, so that's fine. And let me go to the actual uh, function. Okay, which is this one, and this is where we add our input, right? So here we can receive a second parameter, which is an object. So we just call it obj, that's fine. And then we can add information here. So let's say, for example, the placeholder, right? I'll just cut this and then put a dollar sign, curly brackets, and just say obj dot placeholder so I'm expecting that this will be part of that object so this way you can add specific information to these parts that are in here depending on what you want so if for example you want the name of the input to be special you can give it that name as well so let's say for example instead of just the ID here we can put obj dot name like that okay so there's a placeholder there's a name and then hmm, it's up to you what information you want to add and then let's send that information so for example let me put a placeholder like this and then put full colon and then paste that information in curly brackets like this so we can do this instead we can push this can we actually push this to the next line Oh yeah, it actually works. So then I can put a comma over here and then say name, full colon, oh sorry, full colon, uh, curly brackets, and then say students dash learn. Okay, so at least I have sent an object in there so that's the same thing I can do here as well. Put a placeholder and a name of this item. So I'm just going to press enter and then say placeholder, full colon. Oops, what have I done? Full colon, uh, that, put a comma, oopsie daisy. And then put name, oops, I forgot the brackets since this is a string. Oh, wait a minute. I don't actually need to put inverted commas on the first item, but hey, maybe it works just like that. So let me put that. Uh, let's do prerequisites. Where is that? Prerequisites. Wow, the spelling is tough. Okay. So here I will put um, whose course. Okay, let's see if that works as intended. Okay, great. So it just says undefined, undefined. That's because probably I used quotes on this thing. So let me remove the quotes on the keys like so. Uh, I'm used to PHP, so that's why I make these mistakes. Save that and let's refresh. Okay, still undefined. Well, well, well. Hmm, so what's going on here? This looks okay. Okay, so to figure out what's going on, let's just check what's inside each one of these uh, so I'm going to go down like this. There's obj there, which is an object. Okay, so placeholder has a capital H. So let me put that capital H. That's why it was undefined, I guess. Okay, so this one has it. This one doesn't. Cool. So what we will do now is just um, 
find out what the placeholders for these others are. Let me go here and inspect the element so I can copy the text. And I'm going to placeholder here uh, so I can grab the example. You guys can just copy this text like that. No programming experience needed. You will learn. Okay, prerequisites. No, I think this is for... Wait a minute. No experience needed. Okay, so it is prerequisites. Let's grab this one as well. What's the placeholder? There's an example. So, of course, this is just random text you can type as well to suit your needs. Okay, cool. So, if I come back now and refresh, you see the placeholder for each one of these is different even when I add a new one. Oh, so the add new doesn't work yet. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, cool. We're going to fix that. This one, does this work? No, this doesn't seem to work either. Okay. 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 Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can fix that, shall we? So I'm going to go back to the add new. How is it not working? Oh, I think the reason is, let's see, add new. There's JS here. That's the ID. Where is the section? Uh, wait a minute. Section, replace. Hmm. Okay. Section, right? Okay. A pinch child. Okay. So this should work actually. So what's going on? Let me check my uh, console for errors. Okay, so object is undefined. Where is this? Intended learners add new. Hmm. So it's saying this is undefined? How? This is always sent, isn't it? Oh, right, right, right. I see. I see. Okay, so rightly so. Uh, I forgot that uh, when I click add, I should add this uh, object there. So let me go back to this section here where I'm adding all three. So I can copy the object that I added here. So I'm just going to grab this like that, copy, and then go to intended learners. Uh, because I forgot that I'm calling this function from here as well. So I have to provide an object there because it's a required field so what i'm going to do is paste what i have with a closing curly bracket but then i will push that back like so and push that back like so i want it to be a single line so i put that curly bracket and put that object in there so that information is carried with it so the first one should work so I'm going to refresh. Let's see if it works now. Okay, still doesn't work. So let's inspect again and see what's going on. So there's a missing bracket. So hmm, let's see, what did I do wrong here? Open bracket. Okay, so there's a comma missing here actually. All right, let's try this one more time. Okay, so now it works. Great. So we can add more here. Good. But down here, this won't work until we add the placeholder thingies. So let me grab the comma as well up to here, the closing bracket. So copy and then right about there, paste. Then I can just move things back, scale back a little bit from here to there like this. And then scale this back as well. All right, good. Back here, let me copy this one, uh, comma, up to the closing curly bracket, and paste that here as well. And then just move things back a little, like this. Let me move this here, and then move the name back over here. Okay, good. So now at least we have, wait, wait a minute. Is this okay? Something looks weird. No, I think it's fine. 
it's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, this one is on two lines as well. Let me just move it. I like single line content, however long it is. All right, cool. So let's refresh and let's taste this second one. Boom, boom. And this one, yep. Okay, so as you can see, it's easy to multiply uh, this effect. So if you want to add more of this, you can easily just do exactly what I've been doing. Just change a few things and then you can repeat. The advantage of organizing yourself, as you can see, we are using, we're using the same functions down here, even though we are adding more sections, but the same functions work. So let's see if the drag and drop will work as well here. Let me just type some numbers and try to move this up. It doesn't work. Okay, good. So that does not work either. But let's try this one here. Let's move that up. That works. So why does this one work, but the rest do not? Well, it's the... Let's see here. Okay, so the drag and drop does work just fine, I guess. Yep, that works. It's just this one where we are pushing up and down that doesn't work. Let's see here, drag and drop. That works just fine. So why doesn't the other one work here? Let's go and check for a second. Um, okay, so it's about the um, this thing here, right? So we need to change the action. Uh, so whatever action we have here, instead of saying if action is equal to this, we should probably just leave the delete and remove this part which specifies exactly what section we are on right so let's let me remove the student learn from this this is the uh, intended learners tab action right so let me just remove this from both from all of these and just move, leave the move up move down and delete so i'm just going to come back to where we created this and let's remove these actually let me leave uh, just the, the thing that's required there, right? Okay, so if I refresh now, things should work. So let me add one. Let me do this and let me try to move it up. Okay, look at that. That worked just fine. Let's add this. Now we don't have many items here. So if I add and move it down, it works. Same thing here. Okay, very good. So everything is working as intended. The drag and drop works. Let me drag and drop. Very nice. Okay, so all we need now is to collect information from this section and uh, save it when we hit the save button. All right then. Okay, one thing I almost forgot is the delete. We need to be able to delete. If I try to delete this item here, it tells me you cannot delete. You need a minimum of four items, which means it's reading from here. So let's figure out what's wrong with the delete. And um, okay, so we are right here. It says action delete and uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so we need to know exactly what section we are on before we can know about uh, which one of these to use. Okay, so hmm. because if I remove this, the delete should work, right? Let me remove this. Are you sure you want to delete? So this is the part that is preventing the delete from working. So let me refresh here. And let me try and delete from this. So I'm just going to say delete. Yes, and that, that actually worked. As you can see, if I delete from here, it actually works. But the minimum requirement is unknown here. So what I'll do is on the delete, um, Where is this? Let me undo this. So all we need to know is what number 
we should put here depending on the section because each section has a different number right so we need to know what section we're on so how can we know that let's look at the delete and see what we can get about this that can tell us this information so id is delete and what else can we do well we can put other attributes in here to go with the delete right here we are checking for the id but we can check for other attributes as well so for example i want to know what section this is so i will grab this uh, id is this one right but the section itself is this so if we look closely the id is the first part of um hmm Wait a minute, we need to be able to capture the information here somehow. So I need to know one of these, which ones to get here. So maybe... Hmm, what I can do is, um, right here in the delete, let me add an attribute called uh, min, like this, for minimum, right? And then I'll just add a variable. I'll call it min like this. Then I can put an if statement here, okay? Depending on what section we are on, let's give it a different min. Okay, so section here, uh, let's look here. We have JS prerequisites, uh, JS student length. So let's grab these sections and add an if statement. So right here, I'm going to say var min is equal to one like this as a minimum requirement then i say if section is equal to this uh -huh, then me will be equal to uh, what's this one this one here okay so let me add that there like this and then let's put an else if now you can use a switch statement instead of if else, uh, that's up to you. So let me duplicate this three times like this and remove the final else statement. And of course, let me change to prerequisite and whose course. So let me move that here and then put whose course there, minimum inputs, and let's put that there. So the reason we are having to create a system like this is because we we need to be organized when it comes to debugging in future so that's why a system is very important whose course like that okay great this way at least it knows we have minimum which is right there so we can grab this minimum when we come to delete so right here since we have the e dot target we can target a, a different value here. So let's just put mean here. I'll just say mean is equal to e.target.get attribute. Okay. And what attribute do I want to get? It's called mean. And that mean will have a number. Okay. Now I want to parse the result of this as an integer. So I can say parse int like this. Oh, wait. Can I do this in JavaScript? <laughs> I actually don't know. This looks like a PHP function, but let's see, maybe it'll work. So instead of this, let's put mean there. Whatever the value of mean will be, let's replace it on both sides here. Okay, great. Let's try this out. Yeah, so let me just try and delete. You can't delete, you need four items. Great, how about here? You need one item so it's actually working very cool so if i add one more item i can now delete this one and remove it great look at that no i can't delete it unless i add one more and then i can delete this one now very nice so everything is working as intended see you in the next video